Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're we'll going over Collection Service in Roblox Studio. So Collection Service is a service where you can manage groups of instances using um, things called tags. Um, so this is useful for not repeating yourself and being able to group instances together and run the same thing on, on those instances so you don't have to repeat yourself. An example of this is kill bricks because this brick right here, if I made it red and made it like a kill brick and had a script in it and I had multiple kill bricks, I would have to have a script for every single kill brick. I could lag up the game and is unoptimized. So using collection service, we can change this so that we only have to um, type it one time and it runs for all of these parts. That's what collection service does. So you can use the um, tag editor plugin as well is you can go into the instant um, properties of parts and instances and down here it says attributes and I already have made a tag called kill brick. So um, underneath tags, you can make your own tags here. So if you just make a tag, I'm going to call it kill brick. And, you know, you press the plus and you type in what you want to call it. I have titled it kill brick. So now this part has the tag of kill brick. Because if I insert another part, this part doesn't have the tag of kill brick. If I select the base plate, this part does not have the tag of kill brick only this part um, has a tag of kill brick and I can duplicate this part and assign the kill brick tag to the other parts to be used all right so all of these parts have the tag kill brick so if I wanted to make something that only ran for um, instances that were tagged with kill brick I can do that and it would only run for these kill bricks right here so we can start this with a script and service script service and we can get the collection service by saying collection service is equal to game get service collection oh collection uh, service so the first thing we're going to be going over is collection service get tagged when we call get tagged this returns all of the objects with the tag that we put in there so I can call this kill bricks so I can call this kill bricks right here uh, kill bricks and this can be equal to um, my tagged so in here I'm going to get the tag name which I have it set to capital K lowercase b and just kill brick so kill brick I am getting the tag all the parts with the tag of kill brick I'm just gonna call this the same thing or kill bricks with the lowercase b all right so kill bricks is now equal to all of these parts okay if that makes any sense this is returning all the instances with the tag of whatever we put in there so that is saying we're getting all of these parts all right so simple enough we got all of our kill bricks we can then to actually make this work loop through all of the kill bricks all of those parts and make it work so how we can loop through it is for underscore comma i'm gonna say brick in kill bricks do so we're gonna loop through the kill bricks and we're gonna say brick dot touched so then because we are actually getting the physical object from this we can get the touched event on it connect function hit and now we're just going to detect if it's a player so player game dot players get player from character hit dot parent if um, player is equal equal to nil, then return end, and then local humanoid is equal to player dot character dot humanoid. If if there's a humanoid, then we're gonna set the humanoid's health to zero. So then it basically kills the player. Again, it loops through the every tagged instance and kill bricks. It um, attaches a touched event to every instance in there. Uh, checks if it's a player, if there's a humanoid. And if there's all those all in it passes all those security checks, then we kill the player. So for all these parts, every single part, 
I only have to type this once, but it works for every part. All right, so I could touch any part and it would set my health to zero. Let me touch this brick and I, it is a kill brick and I die. Now, if I walk over there again, any kill brick and I touch um, this one right here, it again still works. It works for every brick and we only have to type it once. Again, you can use this same system to make anything, tag any part. So maybe open certain doors. You can use tags for that. You can, like, your imagination is the limit with uh, these tags and what you can tag. Any system that, you know, it, it's infinite. But we don't only have to add tags um, in, one, like, in Roblox Studio. We can also do it. Um, in scripts how we can do this is by using collection service um, uh, add tag and collection service remove tag we can use these things to remove tags and add them in scripts to parts so what I can do here is make a new kill brick I'm going to make a new kill brick well I'm going to keep this old code that I had. Uh, what I just had. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is make a new part. So I'm just going to call it part. And this is not new. Part and part. Uh, I'm just going to set everything like anchor, true, part.name is equal to kill brick, and all this other stuff. Part.color. Uh, color is equal to color 3 dot from RGB 255 255 255 or no that's the opposite it needs to be 25500 part dot material enum dot materials dot uh, neon and all that other stuff part dot position uh, you know let, let me um, get the rest of this down Okay, so here are the rest of my properties that I have. I might be forgetting some, we'll find out. But I have my position set to be where this part is. So now I can delete it. And uh, it makes the new part. So now we can add this new part to our tag. So parts, or um, collection service, add tag. And we toss in the instance, which is this new part that we made. And we add it to the tags. So I called it kill brick, just like this. And we toss in what the name of our kill brick is. So we create a new part and we are adding, setting the tag to the new part. And actually what I'm gonna do is set the color to be yellow so that we know that is the different part when we go into the game. I head into the game and there's our yellow parts. Obviously, all these other ones already work. But we created a new part, and we added the tag to it. So if we go into the game, we have to figure out which one's which. Oh, I called it kill brick right there. Okay. Um, and in the tags, we can see that it has the tag of kill brick. So if we step over it, oh, is there an error? Sorry about that, guys, but add tag just adds a tag, but we already connected the events up here, so it wouldn't work. But add tag just adds a tag to the part, so there you guys go. So the same thing with remove tag. So I'm going to wait a few seconds, like three, and then I can remove the tag again. So remove tag from the part, and I'm going to remove the tag of kill brick. Oh, what's going on with my spelling? And if we head into the game. Go into the game, we head into kill brick. We see it has the tag kill brick and then it disappears cause then we removed it. Next up in collection service, we have get tags and get all tags. So if we just get rid of all this now and we just have collection service, um, we can uh, get tags, get tags. Um, right there's get tagged and there's also get tags. But what get tags does is it returns all the tags that are in an instance. So get tagged gets all of the parts that are assigned to a tag. Get tags returns all of the tags in a part or instance. All right, so 
um, in this brick, right, we still have the tag of kill brick. So I need, I'm just going to call one of these like part two, just so I can get it in the script. But if I toss in um, game.workspace.part2 and we print this, um, that, and we play the game, check the output, and it returns our table. And we only have one tag, which is, again, kill brick. So it returns all of the tags in an instance. Okay, so now what get all tag does, collection service get all tags, what this returns is all of the tags that are in the game. So from um, any object, any instance in the game, it returns all of the tags in the game. So if we put this in a print and run the game, by the way, I do have to note that um, you know, there, we already have the kill brick tag, but I also added a tag in baseplate called baseplate and a tag in uh, our service script called script. So if we go in the game, check our output, and we open up our array, there's our baseplate, kill brick, and script. It returns all of the tags that are in our game. So there's also another thing called has tag. So you can actually check if an instance has a certain tag. And what I have here is we are checking if our part two in our game, this one, has the tag of kill brick. Still needs to be a lowercase b. Um, but what this returns is true or false if it has the has tag. So if we go into the game, it does have the tag of kill brick. So it returns true. Um, so if I were to say game.workspace.baseplay, if um, the base play has kill brick, and I were to play that, it would return false. And the last thing I'll be covering with collection service is that uh, is there uh, is two events added onto collection service that we can detect when an object is added to a tag and removed. So if we can say collection service get instance uh, added signal, and in here we put in the tag we want to check for. So I'll just put in kill brick. Keep checking this because I want to make sure I get it right. So it's just kill brick. And after this, you can say connect function. Okay, so what this is um, checking for is it, this is firing when a new instance is added to the tag of kill brick. Um, so we can then print object added to kill brick. Same thing, collection service, get instance remove signal uh, with kill brick, connect function. So the same thing, we can print object um, removed, removed from kill brick, and yeah. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.